Namaste. Welcome to the Conscious Combo Podcast. I am your host and teacher, Pippa Leslie. I'm here to share everything I learn, see, and channel. This podcast is for the conscious and curious beings who are ready to dive deeper into spirituality. I am so grateful you are here. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am wanting to talk about manifestation. I do get asked a lot about manifestation, what it actually is, how do you manifest? Do I just think about what I want all day long? I get so many questions about manifestation and I think there are misconceptions about manifestation out there. And a lot of us can get confused with all the different messages that we're seeing about manifestation, about, you know, because we all, we all would love to manifest everything in, into our life. And the message I want to give to you today is, even though we all have desires and we all want the things we want, we have to be grateful and feel blessed with what we already have. That is the first key to manifesting, is gratitude and It sounds like such a simple thing to do and a tool, but it's the most powerful tool you can have in your daily ritual. I have just manifested a beautiful six-month-old rescue puppy, and that happened in a matter of weeks, even days, after I'd, you know, put out to the universe exactly what I wanted. I always knew I wanted to rescue another dog for Arlo, who's my five-year-old black lab. And I was torn between taking on an older dog and a brand new puppy or just rescuing like, you know, a mid-aged puppy at like six months. So I sat with the ideas and about two weeks ago, I said to the universe, I'd like a six-month-old puppy that didn't have a great start off life and that we can bring into our home and have a little brother or sister for Arlo. And within a week one of Chris's work colleagues had found this six-month-old black lab girl on the side of the road and brought her into the work. So she had been sat in a crate next to Chris's desk, which clearly was pulling on his heartstrings and she was wrapping around a little finger. And in a couple of days after that, she ended up coming home to us. And it just showed me how fast manifesting can happen. And another tip I'd like to give everyone is manifesting can happen in so many ways. So once we set our desires and once we tune in to that, which I'll talk about in a minute, we have to let go of the how, the when and the why. Because when we start to obsess over it, we actually push it further away. When we set our desires, we have to match the frequency of that, what we want to you know, receive. And we attract what we are, not what we want. So you think about you want this lovely house, you want a nice car, you want a a husband, a wife, whatever it is that you want to manifest. These are coming from high vibrational frequencies. So when you're thinking of all these things you want, I go deeper than that. I think, do I feel worthy of this? you know, what? this is going to come into my life at any moment. Do I feel worthy of all this? And I started to say, yes, I am worthy of this. So with the gratitude, it's affirming that I'm worthy and I deserve this because you do. Everyone listening to this episode, you all deserve everything that you desire. But first, it's taking it back to the simplicity of what do I already have in my life that is absolutely incredible your children, your partners, your family, the roof over your head, the warm water, the clothes on your back, the food in your fridge. And we just kind of take it for granted every single day. And we we all do. We're all culprits of that because it's just there and it's all we've known. But manifesting things that aren't always there becomes the unknown and that's where the unfamiliar territory comes in. So sit with those desires and know they are on the way to you and that they are already here. Time is the illusion, so they're already here. It's just the timing of the manifestation. We all want to know when it's going to arrive, and we don't actually know that. It's left to the universe. But in the meantime, take that inspired action. 
you know, if I hadn't have told the universe the exact puppy that I wanted, you know, it would have been harder to get exactly what I desired. And it is, it's this, the simple things I've learned is if you're looking for a certain home, you know, find a home similar and go and look around it. Put it on your dream board. If there's a home for sale that is similar to the one you want, go in and look around and get a feel for it. Imagine yourself sat at the, at the table having dinner. Imagine yourself in the kitchen cooking the food. Imagine getting into bed at night and having a bath in that home. You know, you want to get into that feeling of the wish fulfilled, as Wayne Dyer says. And you want to assume the wish is fulfilled, that it's already here. I already have a puppy I knew should be here. So it's kind of you start to you start to move into that different frequency. You start to move into that higher vibration. And then the doubts and the fears that creep in, sit with them. You know, sit with them because a lot of fears that I've had is about allowing abundance into my life because I want to do so much good with it. But I know that I'm deserving of that and I know that I'm worthy of that. And sitting with those fears and doubts and the emotions around it is vital too. You know, we can't just brush things under the carpet and be high vibe all day, every day. And even though I love The Secret, The Secret kind of doesn't t tell you to do these things. Like, you know, it's we just sit about and think about, we sit all day and we just think about a partner or a house or a car and it just magically appears. Under all those layers of fears and doubts and anxieties about, you know, life and how we're going to make it through to the, through the day, we have to sit with those emotions and we have to allow those emotions to come up and let them go. Because manifesting works in the higher vibrations and you can manifest bad things too you can manifest you know bills and parking tickets and extra payments to pay you know all these different things that you don't want in your life but it's because you don't want them so when you're saying things I don't want xyz I don't want this I don't want that we don't want to focus on that we want to focus on the things you desire the things that mean something to you and that will be different for each of you absolutely each of you and one of the things I've manifested is my life here in New Zealand. Even though I had to wait 18 months to get here, I know for a fact the universe made me wait because this was more than I ever dreamed. And I knew that, you know, sometimes we're not, we don't wait long for manifestations like, you know, my new puppy Willow. She's, you know, she came in a matter of weeks and then days. New Zealand, I had to wait 18 months for because it was such a big dream of mine and it was and now I'm here it's better than I ever imagined so the universe said yeah it's gonna happen but I'm gonna make you wait for it you know and in that time of waiting I did some healing I did some big growth I did some trauma work and so did Chris and it became second nature to us to be able to do that work apart and now that we're physically together, we're still doing the work and we're still pushing for the, the, the dreams and the goals that we desire. You know, my, one of my big goals in the next two years is to become a mother. I have two beautiful stepsons, but I want to be able to have my own birth. And so, you know, I know that's going to happen in the next two years. I don't have any doubt. I don't have any compromise. But when it happens is when it happens, I'm letting go of the when and the how, you know, it's all those finer details. That's where the trust comes in. We have to trust, we have to trust that it's coming to us in any way it's supposed to. You may have a desire, and another tip I want to give you is to have the flexibility of how the desire shows up. Sometimes the universe will give you a stepping stone towards towards that if that makes sense for example when I wanted to you know get to New Zealand as soon as possible I went to Australia first that was a huge stepping stone for my journey I spent eight weeks in New Zealand in Australia and then I came to New Zealand and I know that was a huge stepping stone that the universe had provided and every situation will be different so if you're if you're manifesting I don't know I think of an example of you know the a man or a, or a woman into your life you may end up getting with someone who's similar to that but it, this person may teach you a lot and you might end up leaving that person you know sometimes our manifestations come in very mysterious ways and just know the universe is giving you the things that are going to help you grow and heal 
and that sometimes manifestations don't just come as you think they will. So please have the flexibility and the openness to receive manifestations in all forms, in all ways, because the universe has unlimited ways of serving you. And another tip I would like to give is how are you serving others? So one of my values is service to others, which comes from the Tao Te Ching, as a lot of you know. So if you're, you know, one of my questions on a daily basis is how may I serve today? And that doesn't mean you need to go and, you know, tie yourself out doing something strenuous every single day. Serving others can be anything. It can just be helping out a friend. It can be giving some change to a homeless man. It can be volunteering for an hour at the, you know, the the, the nursing homes. It can be asking, you know, helping a friend take the dog for a walk, giving someone a lift. Literally, the list is endless, but serving others is such a high frequency because when we serve others, we're actually serving ourselves. And in the process of serving others, we also have to remember to serve ourselves in the matter of self-care, of rest, of love, of compassion for us and doing our own inner work. I'm guilty of moving in and out of my work. I do rituals for a few weeks and then drop off. The last few weeks have been hard because I have just been wanting to spend time with Chris con consistently because I've missed him so much. And now I'm feeling more settled in New Zealand. I'm feeling the calls to introduce that daily ritual that works for me. And that will be completely different for you. You know, it's doing what's best for you and your journey and your desires so manifestation there are many many things that I get asked and these are just the things that I've learned along the way and you yourself are the biggest manifestation to date you manifested yourself here on earth to learn to grow to have this human experience and as Wayne Dyer says for the first nine months of your life growing in your mother's tummy Everything you needed was already there. You didn't need to think about anything. You didn't need to worry about anything. You weren't worried about what hair colour you'd have, what you know colour skin you'll have, what you'll look like, what colour eyes you'll have. You know, you're not worrying about what job am I gonna have? How am I gonna do at school? Will my parents like me? Will my friends like me? Those nine months in your mum's tummy, you have everything there for you. And then we come out into the world and our parents take over. And then as we get older, we feel like we don't have everything we need when we actually do. So when you start to realise you have everything you already need right here, right now, that's when you start to realise there's not nothing extra that you actually need. We all have desires, we all have wants, but we don't focus our entire life and energy on those things because we already have everything we need right here, right now. And just stop for that moment. You could be driving a car right now. You could be just sat at home. You could be walking in nature. How blessed are you? You have sight. You can hear. You can walk. You can drive. You have a car. You know, there's so many things that we're just so used to having. And we don't stop and think, wow. There's people in the world that would absolutely kill for something like this because I'm so blessed and I'm so, you know, grateful for what I have. So these things kind of seem simple to a lot of people, but they are the most powerful. Keep your rituals simple. Meditation, keep it simple. There's no perfect way to meditate. There is literally no perfect way to meditate. You meditate how you want to meditate. It's about getting quiet. It's about shutting off from the chaos and having some time for you to go within. And these are all the things that we do to help align and help pick our frequency up. And the things that keep our vib vibration low, how can we let go of those things? Any of you carrying guilt, shame, regret around with you, let it go. Do some cord cutting meditations. Practice letting go. Write letters. Burn them under the full moon. There's so many things you can do. And we look externally for so much help when all of our answers are within. And then when we have these moments of high, high vibration, we can just, you know, we're not going to be in high vibration every single day. But when we are in that high vibration, we feel it. We just know it. And it feels incredible. 
So for today, I just want you to connect to your wishes. I want you to connect to your desires and know that this universe is abundant and it is willing to give you everything you deserve and everything you feel worthy of. And know that everything is coming to you in divine timing. So I hope these tips have been useful. If they have, please let me know. If you have loved this episode, please share it with your friends and your family. And please, I would be so grateful if you could leave me a five-star review. That would be a great service to me to help me reach more people with my wisdom and my desires and my love and my compassion. So I, I send you all so much love. Enjoy the manifestation journey because you are so worth it and you deserve everything in this universe. Namaste.